Hey, what's going on, uh, YouTube family? What's going on? I know y'all can't see me. You can't see very well. I'm heading to this fenced off area of the dark. See if anybody can see anything. This place is supposedly haunted. I don't really have any good light sources. We're supposed to come up to this fence area of my property that somebody claims that they see things on the other side at night. The picture is really shady though. You can't see anything. So here's the fence. There it is. Can't see anything. Can't see shit. That's it. That's the fence. We do not cross. That's the fence. We do not cross. So, if you guys see anything, sorry, I ain't got no better light source, but supposedly. We don't go over there. I'm turning around the other way. There you go. That might work better. Maybe. See anything? Oh, well, I'll take you to the other part of the woods that's open. I'll see you over there in a minute. But that's, that's down there. Spooky. Oof. Alright, we're coming up to this other part of the woods. It's a freeway, a freeway that runs along here, so that might make up for the weird noise. Thought I heard something. Fuck, I hope nothing pops out on me. It's lit up down there though. I must have added a new light. This is at the end of my street coming to the woods. Not really much of the woods until you Get to the back. Oh, you can't see anything very much. I don't have my headlamps. You can't find my headlamps. So we're going to point just to the ground until we get to where we got to go. See, we're right along the freeway. And towards that light over there. I live on that street. see anything. God, I need a better light source. Friend claims he said he saw something. Bro, I don't know if I want to go over there, though. That is some spooky, spooky shit. But you can hear the cars in the background. That light, I don't ever remember, remember that being on. It's down there. You guys see anything? Down that way, that's the bay. The cars, that might be cars just going by. 
You guys see anything? Whoa. Woo! Jumpy much? I'm probably gonna stay right here at the light. That's an eagle. Offspray. But this is the back half of those woods that supposedly they hear odd noises. But you can hear like the birds. Frogs. It could be anything. I'm venturing in a little deeper. I have my other phone for another source of light, but that ain't helping. You guys see anything? Can't see shit. That is. I'm glowing in the wood there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I had somebody else with me, I'd go in there more, but I don't. And I'm not going in there. Fuck all that. You fucking have it. I don't know if you guys think you saw anything. Let me know. Spooky here at night, that's for sure. But there's a freeway along there too. So it could be any kind of noise. But I know I got bit by a giant ass mosquito or something. So you can't hear anything. But I'm pointing at that section right over there. I thought I seen something move, but. Private property was still is. Yeah, I'm walking back so Try to see anything, let me know. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to walk forward. I'm trying to walk backwards. I don't really see anything odd though. You can hear the frogs, the birds. All right, I need to get to the dark part right here. I just get this fucking eerie feeling that somebody's following me. There's nobody there. And that's like a swamp creek. You can't really see it, but in there it's like a little swampy area before the bridge. Gators can make odd noises. Yeah, I just get this eerie feeling. It's a... Uh, Local, just the woods. I'm just gonna keep looking behind me because I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's behind me. Maybe I might turn the camera this way. It's just fucking looks. <gasps> I put the camera down and I saw something go across. It was a shadow. 
It'd be anything, but it went right across there. As soon as I put the camera down like this. I'm telling you right now, man. If I had more people than me going in there, I'd go in there, but... If you guys see anything, let me know. It could be anything. Crocodile for Florida. Chupacabra. Ghosts. I live in an older neighborhood where uh, down the street from a prison. Guy could have hung himself. He just could have murdered somebody in those woods. I mean, you hear all kinds of silly stories. There's woods along the house here. I don't know. Just keep seeing every time I put the phone down, I see like this little black shadow over there, and it's not, it's not, it's like human tall. I'm only two blocks down from the house, but my friends tell me about this the woods, and it's not very deep woods, you know. Not deep. See anything down there? Maybe if I zoom in. Nothing. I'm pretty far out from it. That's good. A thousand feet from the entrance of that woods, and then down that way, that one street that's uh, where the gate was. But you got cars coming along the freeway, see? So I don't know if they're telling me the truth or fibbing, but I had a, a friend that I used to work with, she told me about the. I'm telling you, when I get this fucking eerie feeling that somebody's following me. Please don't fucking pop up on me. Please don't pop up on me. <laughs> you guys see anything down there? God, I need my headlamp. And mosquito spray. Headlamp and mosquito spray. But, like, an uh, uh, older co-worker, I said that used to, she used to live down in the neck of the woods. She said, that's in that part of the woods. That's where, uh, uh, like, the prisoners would escape from the prison. The prison's, like, a mile down that way. They, they would escape there. And, uh, either off themselves, or they were murderers, or they'd kill somebody, rape somebody. Supposedly it's, 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 she said it's a haunted little area. And uh, where we saw the fence on that side. Sorry, I'm just walking home. Still pointing down that way. It's down there. Nothing's following me. I just get this feeling something's following me. Hope it don't bring nothing nothing bad home. But yeah, they, she said that there's all kinds of stuff. They seen dead bodies back there. They've uh, before my mom and I moved here along with where I showed you where the first part of the fence was. On that other side of the woods, there there was used to be a a mobile home land to this old guy you know that offed himself I wonder if I can can't turn it around while I'm filming no I know y'all can't see me but you can hear me 
I'll we'll pause it. I'll explain a little bit more later. I'm gonna see if I can see anything real quick while I'm back here. Just got this eerie feeling something's following me. Hey, what's going on? Uh, yeah, just to finish up. Uh, just came back in and whew, just to finish up that talk that we had about the little woods. The part of that woods that I filmed in the first part of this that was by the fence that supposedly belonged to a gentleman 30, 40, 50 years ago that owned that land. He had a mobile home on that land before they uh, they built condos behind it in that. According to what my one of my ex co workers used to say, that she used to live over here, she said that that old man was a drunkard and that uh, he beat his wife and his kids and stuff. And I don't know the whole details of it, but she said it was pretty uh, gruesome. So they had that all fenced off, and uh, it's all it's it's been all overgrown now. and Recently I had friends telling me like yeah, she's like you go in there and it's like at night. It's a whole different story You'll hear things But you you'll see it you'll hear it in a video. It's like it's you know, the freeway. We got the Coast Guard station. We got um Frogs alligators birds You know 50 million things that can make sounds I did State out in the video that there was this creepy feeling that there's something that was following me and I thought I saw something in the woods there, but I don't know. I'll let you judge when you watch the video. But anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to this, and thanks for going on with me my little journey there. Once I get some friends out here, we'll, we'll try to do it again, and then I'll see if I can find my headlamps. I didn't really have much lighting, so I apologize for that. But anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.